was a bright day. I ran home happily from school and I told my sisters that I got my highest score, 50 in mathematics. We laughed and had fun together. I got a knock on my head. Who was it? It was my mother. I thought that she had found that I got 50 out of 100. The truth was that she had come to remind me that we girls shouldn't laugh loudly. I had several restrictions from my childhood. And all these restrictions made me a questioner. And people around me told that I mustn't question. So I stood in front of my mirror and asked my questions. Why shouldn't I laugh loudly? Why shouldn't I whistle? Why should I eat limited food to maintain my body weight? Why shouldn't I question? What did the mirror reflect? I am Rupa from KRM Public School India here to give my TED talk. Life was easy and simple with hardworking parents and loving sisters. People around us gave several restrictions and criticisms. They said life was not going to be easy for three daughters. But my father never gave up. He always felt that we were his blessings. When people threw too many criticisms, I realized that I was high above them. To answer all my questions, I designed my own triangle. Why a triangle? I had two reasons. Number one, triangles are said to be the strongest of all shapes. Why not relate a strong woman to a triangle? Reason two, I had only three steps towards success. So the best shape that suited was my triangle. So the first part of my triangle says, accept failure. Failure is a word that is always considered to be an antonym for success. Even I was a little hesitant to place failure as the first part. But only when I normalize failure, I can bring it to the world. I remember the missile man of India, Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam's words. If you fail, never give up. Because the word fail means first attempt in learning. Why not learn from failures? I had several failures. After my postpartum, I was in a dilemma to choose between profession and motherhood. It was my mother-in-law who motivated me to go ahead with my profession, who said women don't uplift another woman. I excelled in my profession and I was very happy. One evening when I left home, I saw my daughter calling my mother-in-law as mother. We mothers rant about our role as a mother, but none of us would be ready to, ready to substitute ourselves. I realized that I shouldn't give up my failure. I started to balance both work and profession. I made sure that every evening when I left home, I spent quality time with my daughter. I left the kitchen sink and laundry wait for me. Yes, I succeeded. My daughter comes around me calling mother all the time. Women are given several tags by the society. One of the famous tag is women are weaker sex. Once in my class, I asked few boys to arrange the benches and the work was done. Two girls came to me and asked a question which was an eye-opener. They asked, Ma'am, why didn't you call us? Do you think we are weak? These questions made me realize that as a woman, even I have accepted the tags the society had given. Stephen Austin, an international expert on aging, had done a research for two decades and he says, pretty much at every age, women survive better than men. Your physical health is dependent on your mental health. If women were physically strong to outlive men, who said that they are mentally weak? Should we still believe that women are weaker sex? From childhood, 
I was brought up as a tomboy. My mother loved to dress me up with trousers and pants and I even felt comfortable. People around me started to comment. She looks like a boy. She walks like a boy. She's brave like a boy. I enjoyed all these comments and I was made to believe that bravery was a masculine trait. Imagine a girl who is afraid of syringes entering into an operation theatre for C-section. You are surrounded by strangers. You are given a spinal anesthesia. Only your body becomes numb, but you are well aware of what is happening to your body. They say incision is done through seven layers of tissues. Knowing all this, you cannot lose your cool. If your blood temperature shoots high or low, you and your baby are in danger. After two days of isolation in the ICU, you'll have to stand erect with the two halves of the body stuck to each other. Do you still believe that women are not brave? Walls of labor ward will tell you stories of women and their bravery. Yes. We accept our failure and what's next? We work towards them. So my triangle gives you the answer. Set timelines to work on your goals. While talking about timelines, we go back to our school days where we've drawn timelines in the subject history out of boredom. But my timeline is going to be different. While talking about timeline, I remember a story. There was a boy who was never punctual. His father wanted to teach him a lesson. So the father woke up early one day and he went for a walk. He saw a bird from the nest that flew and caught its worm. And as he was walking through the field, he saw a bag full of gold. He went around the villages and asked them whether it was theirs. No one agreed and they told him to take the bag full of gold. He left home happy. He called the boy and narrated both the incidents. He told, the bird which was early caught its worm. Since he was early, he got a bag full of gold. The boy's answer was very simple. Papa, the worm woke earlier than the bird and it was dead. The man who woke earlier than you had lost a bag full of good. Your timeline and my timeline are totally different. My mother at 25 was able to manage household and three kids. But at 25, I was still dependent on my mother even for a cup of tea. Most of the time, we women try to imitate great people. During lockdown, out of boredom, I was scrolling through YouTube and I saw several women posting videos of kitchen tour, house tour, fridge tour and so on. I thought, why shouldn't I start my own YouTube channel and teach people to cook? So I ran to my husband and I asked a question. Usually, when you ask questions to your husbands, they don't give you answers. Instead, they ask a number of questions. So the first question that he asked was, from where are you going to learn cooking from? For the first time, he was right. To teach people to cook, I had to go to another YouTube channel and learn how to cook. That was not a piece of cake for me. At teens, I learned to sew clothes. I restarted it. I started to design clothes for me and my daughter. Yes. Firdos Kanga, an Indian journalist who interviewed Stephen Hawking, asked an important question. What was the best advice that he would give for the differently abled people like him? Stephen Hawking's answer was that they should concentrate in what they are good at. Yes, let us concentrate in what we are good at. Most of the time, as women, we fall in traps of few of the feminist ideas like why is it always pink for girls? Why should we give baby dolls to little ones to learn to nurture from their younger age? Whenever myself and my husband go for supermarkets, 
we play hide and seek. With who? With a shell full of toys. We try our best to hide our daughter from those toys. But these supermarket people are very clever. They place the shell just near the billing counter where you cannot skip. No matter how many choices are given, my daughter chooses a pink baby doll. Do you think I would stop her? No. All that I want my daughter to know is that she has the right to decide what she wants. Yes, let us not imitate others. Do any of you remember your New Year resolutions? Most of us decide something on the 1st of January and in the same evening we forget them. I got an interesting idea from the book Diary of a Wimpy Kid by Jeff Kinney where the central character Greg, every night if he had to do something for the next day, from his bed he would throw a pillow towards the door. Next day, in the morning, when he walks out of the door, by seeing the pillow, he would remember the work that has to be done. Why not set such reminders? I set reminders. At school, whenever I think of a work that has to be completed at home, I would draw a star in my hand. The best part is, it disappears before I reach home. But setting reminders also had worked. I always wanted to record my life events in a diary. And it didn't happen. I started to carry my diary in my bag and I was able to complete. Setting reminders work. To stay in your timeline, you need an energy booster. What is going to be your energy booster? Your motto. I have designed my own motto. No stop. No pause, only progress. I repeat, no pause, no stop, only progress. Design your own motto and work on it. I want you all to take a look at the picture displayed. And I'll give you 10 seconds. I want you to find a triangle that is there in the image. It is right there. Why do you think we played this optical illusion game? This is my reminder to go back to my triangle. See, setting reminders actually work. Okay, we've accepted our failure. We've set timelines, reminders, motto. What's next? After completing each task, we ask for feedback. From where are you going to get your feedback? Shall we practice a tongue twister? Betty bought some butter. The butter was bitter. To make the bitter butter better, she bought some better butter. Okay. Who makes Betty's bitter butter better? Hope you got your answers. So from where are you going to get your feedback? The only person who is never busy for you is you. Reflect on your own work. Appreciate yourself, pat yourself, gift yourself, criticize yourself. Because the only person who is going to learn from your mistake is you. Imagine your higher official at work conducts a workshop and you are bored. If he asks for a face-to-face -face feedback, what will your answer be? Do you still believe in the others for your feedback? Yes, I have my own feedback where I have a checklist in my mind. I have three questions. Question one, am I happy and satisfied with the completed task? Question two, what have I learned from the completed task? Question three is very important. What's next? Remember my motto? No stop, no pause, only progress. Yes, my triangle transformed me from a questioner to an answerer. I realized that woman has to exercise her own inner strength because no matter how many external forces are applied on you, 
If you are not determined to move forward, you are not going to achieve what you want. Women, wake up. Design your own shapes, your own motto, your own timeline. Work on them, you will achieve success. I got my answers from my triangle. I can laugh loudly. I can... I can eat what I want. And I can question. Here's my line break. I was locked in a cage wanting to be free. I waited for a rescuer to come with a key. I wanted to fly high above the sky. Who would give me wings to fly? The mirror reflected me. Thank you.